Charmaine Minifield. I'm a visual artist. And my work is um, what I focus on right now. <laughs> I believe that if we respect our mothers, we'll respect ourselves and society. And that has guided my choices in the content of my work. The first series that I created um, uh, came from images that I collected from my journey and my spiritual path to Nigeria and also to Ghana. I also created images that celebrated female deities, uh, angels in our indigenous tradition. Uh, some of them warriors, um, all of them mothers. And uh, so I have a body of work that deals with the power of women. And um, one of those deities, those angels, is Yemonja. And um, she's the big mama, the caregiver, the, um, the one who witnessed um, creation. And another is Oshun, who is um, the love and beauty a deity and I instill those principles in my children caregiving and love and beauty and so as my work evolved um, I incorporated those influences into the work and found myself also journeying uh, to the ancestors themselves I wanted to reverence them and tell their story specifically women um, uh, in my history but in the history of African-American um, uh, culture in the United States. And uh, I thought of in no other way to sort of reverence this moment of hope, but to return back to uh, emancipation and think about what we were then, where the mothers were, um, in terms of hope for our future. And look at how our ancestors were organizing for change and creating institutions and claiming their places in society. Even our own ancestors, how important it was to create community and project positive images for ourselves, for our children, um, and therefore find, ground ourselves in society. So. I thought how best to do that but to create these monuments to our ancestors to remind ourselves of our greatness and project that prayer into our future. And that's what the New Freedom Series is for me. One day while in my studio, I was surrounded by images that I had painted of these women, these beautiful, powerful women who had made their transition from slavery to emancipation. And it was in that environment, surrounded by those women, some of them life-size, that I could hear them say, slavery still exists, and we have something to say about it. Those women's voices, their essence came to me and said, we have to continue the fight. We have to fix, we have to end, we have to emancipate. Still, slavery today, it was overwhelming. I sobbed in their presence. I sobbed knowing the work and its purpose. That my paintings were speaking of the grace and the power and the sense of hope that they embodied, that they instilled, and that strength and hope that resonates still in our people, in our country, in the world, from their example, in myself as a woman, that strength that I instill in my children, all girls, is the same strength that I'm calling upon now to be a change agent, uh, a solution, something that I can at least use in the fight against slavery today to end human trafficking. They came to me to say they have something to say about it too.